All right, well, back to plan... I'm actually not sure what plan this was. I want to say plan B, but I have a lot of plans. Many of them are very silly. It might be plan C, it might be plan X. I have no idea. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Casino Resort Tower, where our hotel guests can now enjoy reasonably fresh, clean sheets. Our housekeepers are up here. They're very, very tired. They're just exhausted. They're having a very bad day cleaning up after, well, this guy, I assume, is making a complete mess in his room, and somebody's got to pick up after him. Well, finally, we have the people to do that, and we spent some time kind of filling in the blanks in our little casino here last time. It's not... It's not actually that much of a casino anymore. There's a lot of things going on that have nothing to do with casinos. One of them being events. Do I finally have enough documents to put together any kind of event? I could do this workshop plan two. That needs one table and two whiteboards. I've got that. What I'm suffering on is the marketing documents. I'm not able to put together marketing documents quickly enough. I could do this one. This gives me what? Uh, well, money, obviously, would be the obvious answer there, Dave. But this needs two tables and two whiteboards. I've got those. Let's go ahead and start that event. And then remember this time to assign it to a room. There we go. Workshop room two. Okay, you guys are ready for action here. Ready for action. Put that away. Now, speaking of marketing documents, where are we at on research? 101 on the old research. I may as well get the whole marketing thing going, because I'm gonna need it. So marketing office is 91 documents, not really what I wanna spend, but we are working on video poker right now, so that'll be good. We'll get some more people spending some more money. Where do I think video poker might live? I could probably squeeze something in down there, but I am somewhat running out of casino space. I've got a little bit more dead space down here. This could be extra casino right upstairs here. We could put some video poker. Maybe put another table up in here too. You know what though? I've been saying I want a lounge for ages and I've never done it because I didn't realize I'd researched newspaper racks ages ago and never actually did anything about it. So let's make this a lounge. Let's just have a lounge, just a place where people can hang out and relax. I know you don't have the things that you need. We're gonna work on that sort of right now. So you need a dining table, one sofa, and one newspaper rack. All right, well, let's slap a newspaper rack right in the corner over there. And then sofa, let's maybe see if we can get a couple of sofas in here. Can we get one right next to the newspapers? Because newspapers are heavy. You're going to want to sit down after you're reading a newspaper, or even during reading a newspaper. You know what? Whatever you do with the newspaper is fine. I usually use them to... Well, set fire to my barbecue. And then a dining table, and how about another dining table in there? And you wouldn't mind having a drink vending machine. Okay, well, let's do cold drinks, because those are easier than the hot drinks. I don't need... I say that. I don't have a lot of hot drink vending machines. And we put a lot of hot drinks on the menu, as I recall. So let's put that guy right up in there. Unfortunately, that means now I've got to pipe some water over there. Okay, how's this going to work here? So a bridge to there and then a bridge right into there. I'm going to do the water first because that's usually more fidgety. Water in there and water up to there. Okay, how about your electricity? That one's an easy one. All right, so we can just draw a line, well, relatively easy, right over to there. Okay, that should be all your things. I know you don't have things in there. I know you, you have water. I, I did water, right? I, we did we did water, right? Are you somehow not connected there? What's your problem? Why are you making me sad? Are you connected now? Now you're connected. Everything's happy now. How about like utilities? I'm still really low on the old intranets. I don't do well with that. Could I slap those somewhere else? You know what I could do? I could condense a lot of these transformers. Slam it into pause mode, if we could, please. Let's get rid of a bunch of these. So these are 20 each, and these ones are 60. So I get rid of three, and I put up one of the better ones, and that, you know, puts my power back where it was. And then get rid of these three and do exactly the same thing. And then grab one of the server racks, clone that, and let's see if we can slap this guy right, right. Oh, it's an electrical room. Oh, so I, I, I thought it was just sort of a generic utility room. I don't know why I thought that. I've been playing this game for a while now, but somehow I got it stuck in my head. It was just a generic utility room. So I flat out really need another server room around here. And you know what? More water and power 
would not be the worst idea. I've been saying for like a million trillion years, I wanted to put more utilities upstairs just to make the lines easier to draw. How's this all going to break down? So when we have marketing up and running, I'd like to put the marketing offices right upstairs here. Although, we're, are we working on sauna? No, we're working on video poker. Okay, did I did I do sauna and then forget that I did sauna? No, I didn't do sauna and then forget that I did sauna. I I forget a lot of things. It's just kind of the nature of my brain. What if we went downstairs? We haven't dug down here for ages. Uh, move 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 yourself out of the way there, Sparky. What if we just d dig down here? Oh, lower than minimum research floor. Oh, okay. Okay, so we've hit our limit there. What? How do I get? How do I get better at things? Architecture three, I would imagine. Minimum basement floors four, and I've got yeah two on architecture two. So I'm tapped out down there. How much? Go back to that. We were having exciting times looking at things. How much would that cost me to do? Only fifty four documents. Well, I could get that started right now. Twenty five k. 30 research documents, dang, that's going to blow my research documents, and 85 accounting documents that I have. Unlock that. I'd like to get more research going on. I won't be able to because now I've only got six research documents, but we'll get that up and running. Hey, you know what? I think I'm doing something stupid. Not me in the real world. That, that you can pretty much take as red, but me in the game world. I think I'm, what am I working on right now. I'm working on accounting documents. I have 253 of those. Why don't I spin back over to research? Also, I'd love to have a newspaper rack in my office, and that's very, very achievable. Um, newspaper racks, we're into that now. We're all about newspapers. We're going back to 1953. It's all newspapers all day. So can we tuck that? Oh, right there, right there. There we go, right in there. Okay, that'll make me a little bit happier. No available trash can in restroom two. We probably need another restroom. I mean, let's be brutally honest about things here. We probably need another restroom. What's going on here? Is my event done? Uh, oh, my event is done. Oh, that was a quick one. Okay, yeah, complete that event. Yay! You know what I might be able to do in the interim is squeak this, squeak a little space out of the dumpster area. So if I move you and you, I can't move you. You won't move. Do I need, you know what, get rid of this dumpster. And then tuck all of these guys as far over here as we can. And then maybe, no, don't clone it. That was a terrible idea. And then maybe I could squeeze in a small server room down here. Kind of, kind of. It doesn't quite, doesn't quite make it over there. Ah, do I want to get rid of that dumpster? That's probably a terrible idea. It's only 4.30 in the afternoon. That Those two dumpsters are probably going to get full. I mean, I could put one right here. Okay, let's back burner that idea. Let's just move that off the table. We're not going to take it completely off the table. We're just going to kind of scoot it to the edge of the table where it looks like it might fall off, especially if a cat jumped up and knocked it over because that's basically what cats live for, jumping up on things and knocking things over. But barring all that, putting all those things aside, we're just going to kind of leave this on the table, again, scoot it off to the edge and then maybe revisit it later. What else could I be doing around here? You know, if I put an armchair in this security room... It just magically makes it a tiny little bit better. There we go. Okay, it's not it's not spectacular. It's just things are 10% less likely to degrade. But hey, you know what? It's a really, really easy one to do. What's your problem? There are no dishwasher detergents in storage. Really? Okay, I can, I can help you with that issue. So dishwasher detergent. Uh, yeah, you're right. We are pretty low on that. Wow, 50 stored. Okay, how about there's maybe 75 stored? I did build some more storage area last time. Anything else we're kind of light on? No, the souvenirs are looking great. Scars and cigarettes looking good. Uh, candy bar and cookies, we could bump those up. How about we said there's 50 of those? Well, now I've overclicked, so now it's going to have to be 55. And now you're going to have, wow, we do not have any cookies at all around here, do we? And coffee beans are also kind of low, and apparently we're doing tea, so let's bump that up as well. I don't know who's coming to a casino to drink tea. It seems anathema to me, but there it is. Oh, what did we research? What did we do? Oh, we did video poker and and whatever else I was doing. What was I researching? I remember doing marketing. I don't remember what else I was researching. I mean, I really don't. This isn't for comedy. I just... Okay, focus on video poker. Okay, where is video poker going to live? I can squeeze one down in here. Oh, oh just, just there. There we go. Uh, let me just wire that up real quick because otherwise I'll completely forget to do that. 
So where, where did it go? There it is. Okay, wire that up into there. Casino is getting very big, you see. Kind of forgetting where things are and how big this place is. Uh, do you have no lights? What's, what's going on here? What's, what's the problem? Hot drink vending machine is out of stock. Okay, I can cope with that. Uh, room is currently out. Oh, it needs hours. Oh, I thought the lounge was just like like a hallway kind of thing. Oh, okay, I can I can cope with that. Lounge. Oh, wow, there's a lounge. Do I need the vendors for that? Well, let's find out. Click that and see what happens. Are you telling me you're you need anything? I bet this I bet vendors come in here. The the folks who go around and give you like drinks and cigars and stuff. They may they must come in here. I don't actually have those guys yet. Unless I just researched them. I might have. I don't know. How about we ditch one slot machine and replace that with video poker? Because uh, that just seems like a, a good thing to be doing. Give people variety around here. So video poker right there. You've probably... What do you mean you haven't wired yourself up? You got a different spot than the vent than the slot machine did? Oh, you people are so fussy. Okay, yeah, dra drag that down there. There you go. Everything's fine now. Oh, right, right, right. And you need a game assigned to this. Okay, a game. So video poker. Uh, you could have aces and faces. Sounds like an 80s band that was terrible and had like a one-hit wonder, but everyone kind of grooved to it during the summer. Uh, where's the other thing up there? Deuce is wild. Sure, right in there. I got to think maybe more waiters. These tables are just disgusting. Do I have waiters at night? I mean, I, I certainly do, right? Uh, waiters. So waiters, what do we got here? Morning, night, morning, morning, night, 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 morning, 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 morning. Okay. I have a selection of waiters here. In fact, I'm kind of surprised those tables are dirty. I think I've got three people for each shift, and nobody seems to be able to get over here. Do I have any waiters waiting, if you will, in the pool? I do not. Receptionists... Researchers, maintenance officers, one more barista, one more housekeeper. Okay, do I want to start a search for anything? Because i got a lot of HR documents right now. Maybe more janitors? That might be an idea. Now, I'm going to go dealer on this. I want to go with um, an idea of another big casino area. I'm not really sure where that's going to go. I was thinking of just cloning all of these rooms and doing another level of hotel rooms. But I'm seeing, you know, I've, I've still got empty space here. We don't have 100% occupancy at this point. I should get gym two at some point. I want to put the sauna up here. I also got to think about marketing. Are we, where are we at on that kind of thing? Marketing office, about halfway through. Boy, I just can't remember what I what I just researched. Wasn't it an amenity? I, I don't, I don't know what I did anymore. Customers are unhappy we don't have any showers at the gym. You're right, we don't. That's a research item, sir. We don't have that sort of thing yet. How, where, where do we get to that? I gotta go through sauna, okay, to get to showers. That's kind of backwards, but that's fine. 86 documents, yeah. We're slacking a little on the research here. I did just say there was a bunch of researchers in the pool. Could I get... Do I think I could squeeze another desk in here? Uh, I'm going to go with a hard no on that. Even if I scoot everything over, that's that's not going to pay out. I could start another research office. I don't want to take up this entire casino with admin, though. Okay, my man's coming in here to change the sheets, get the laundry out of here. Um, probably don't walk through these people's rooms. That's, that's a little rude. Uh, did you want to grab that on the way? Oh, you're going to grab this one first. Okay, you're thinking efficiently. You're going to go all the way to the end and then come back. And then get this one, and those beds are now nice and clean. Okay, good deal. People come in and out of this hotel at really weird times. Like, the, somebody just left at basically 1.30 in the morning. Said, whoop, time to go. I hope we're not renting this place by the hour. And a customer, a poor customer, found the vending machine prices too expensive. Yes, we are slowly alienating the poor from our casino. Oh, what happened? Oh, somebody won the jackpot. We got 500 rating points. Neat, cool. What's our rating right now? 37 out of 75. Okay, so we're about halfway to the next level. Okay, I have $1.4 million in the bank, and this room has no lights. Those two thoughts were completely unconnected, but let's go ahead and throw a light in there anyway, just for fun. I mean, there's not really, it's a storage room. I don't, oh, did I put that in exactly the wrong place? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay, you're going to have to have a floor lamp instead, because I think that has a different connection point there. So, utilities, yeah, that I can do for you. 
that I'm not going to rewire and rework all of that plumbing just to put a ceiling lamp in there. Wow, we're storing a lot of stuff there. Nothing in the cold storage, though. Oh, hang on, hang on. All, all sorts of things have just popped up. Interior designer Emily is back. She usually wants the janitorial staff to have the nicest room in the place. A uh, recruiter approaches me with a sheepish smile. Two of your employees are about to get taken by the rival casino, but I can help you. So for 10 research documents, I, I accept the offer. I don't, what is the offer? You're just air quotes helping me or remove two receptionists from the pool. Okay, so if I accept the offer, they won't get removed. I can spare 10 research documents. That's fine. It's not really what I wanted, but that's fine. Uh, what do you want? Have an average decoration value of two at the restrooms. The toilet. You want my toilet to be hyper decorated. Hey, look, at the end of the day, interior designer Emily, I get you. I, I do too. I do too. But I think we can use our decorations better than that. I'm I'm not going to put up a bunch of statues of naked guys in a restroom because I'm just I'm feeling people are going to get the wrong idea. And there's enough rampant nudity in this casino anyway. So I'm going to unfortunately reject your desires there. May as well pop down a few more parking spaces. I've got the room. We may as well. So parking and parking. And you're not going to let me get another one in there. No, no, of course you're not. OK, well, there's some more parking there in our very, very well decorated parking lot. Yeah, I got to get down to the next level. I got to get more basement space going so I can get some more utilities. In the meantime, oh, my HR campaign is up. OK, who did I say I was going to hire? Dealers, right? Dealers, dealers, dealers. OK, what do we got? Rapid user and anxious. OK, a slob and a slow walker and rapid user and small bowel. OK, Braden, you're a constant contradiction. You're going to use the bathroom more frequently, but when you do, you're going to be super quick about it. You know what, Braden? I like you. Yeah, Braden's in. He's like, you got bathrooms? I'll be real quick about it. Yeah, I'll work here. Um, let's put you on the day shift. OK, and you just kind of figure yourself out. You can be free floating. And Ahmed, again, rapid user, but you're anxious. You don't like low security. Well, we've got a lot of low security around here. You're just going to have to learn to cope, kid. And I'm going to put Ahmed on the night shift. So you go there. That's just one more dealer. Just kind of kicking around, doing things here. I, I really want to use this space here for more hotel rooms. I just think that's a strong thing to be doing. I don't know why I think that, but I'm going to do it. So you know what? $1.4 million in the bank. Let's blow. Oh, higher than the max. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. This is it for right now. Oh, well, now I have to work with what I've got. That's no good. Marketing is almost done, but I'm also up to 106 on research documents. So go back to amenities. I'd like to keep the whole gym sauna shower thing moving along here. Yeah, 86 documents and I can get a sauna room. Go ahead and pump that along see what we can get out of that. In the meantime, where the heck am I going to put a marketing office now? That just became a problem. Well, Dave, you know, you could have reused those research points to uh, to research the next level of the casino, couldn't you? Yeah, you're right. I could. I like to read my comments in advance before you guys have even written them. Yeah, because that's only 54 documents. Cancel that. Do I get my research documents back if I cancel? Um, yes. Yes, I do. Good. A little worried about that one. Okay, do architecture three and hustle this up, please. What have I got left? 55? Anything I can get? For, how about bus stop? 169. Now, we ain't getting a bus stop anytime soon. How about better utilities? That's 171. Elevators two, I really want to work on. Uh, talk to me about cuisine. Could we get some better stuff? 52 for cold drinks two. And then 52 for snacks two. How about booze two? That's 86. Okay, okay. Give me cold drinks too. Now, back to the question. Where am I going to put a marketing office? Can I put them in the basement somewhere? I mean, they're marketing. They can't possibly care that much about these things. I could renegotiate a little bit of this. So what if I... Okay, marketing's going to hate this. What if I said, for argument's sake, the divider wall could go... There, that'll give me the tiniest little office. I don't even know that'll be big enough for the stuff. Um, I could get two tiles out of this, basically, unless I kill one dumpster. Okay, we're working on another sub-level anyway, so I could renegotiate. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary, I accidentally clicked on you. Why are you so sad? You work as, as a janitor. 
well, okay, that you took the job. You're waiting too long for an elevator. Um, you're uncomfortable. You're tired. You came to the casino on foot. Okay, I don't know how to help you with that. Do you have a car? Now, I know we don't have employee parking. I'm not really jumping all over that one because I'm not sure if you guys are paying for it. You might be. Boy, these guys do get fussy. You'd like a, like a locker room so you could change into your uniform here. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of this. And then I'm going to put the marketing office in the basement next to the dumpsters. Come on, come on, 99%, 99%. Okay, you go faster now. Go wicked fast. There we go. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Okay, so I need one marketing office. Oh, they're going to hate this. Yeah, no, I want... Yeah, to, to... Yeah, I know it's missing items. That's fine. No, I don't... I don't want you to be that. Oh, can't be assigned to a basement room? Are you kidding me? Are you... They're that fussy. Marketing's like, no, we ain't going to be in the basement, man. I don't care what you say. We ain't going to be in the basement. No, you can't put marketing in the basement. Can't put baby in a corner. No, 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 no. We're not putting marketing in the basement. All right, well, back to plan... I'm actually not sure what plan this was. I want to say plan B, but I have a lot of plans. Many of them are very silly. It might be plan C. It might be plan X. I have no idea. Uh, but what was I saying? Server room. Okay, so let's make this into a server room then and then put the things in that we need. So clone a bunch of these. Let's just do, I don't know, say three for right now. I know you need power. I'm going to... Actually, you know what? I, could, uh, I can't quite get in four there. That's right. I'll do one of the... Do I have one of the small ones up here? Yeah, clone a small one. I may as well just get tons of internet. There's no reason not to. Okay, let's start with the basics. Uh, well, actually, start with the internet, because that's usually the fussier one to do. And then run you all the way over there. Okay, back to power. Power is slightly easier. Drop you down, put you all into there. Okay, that should be plenty of internet right now. That's all sorts of internet right now. Next thing I'll have to think of is sewage and water. Actually, electricity's not as good as I expected it to be. A little tiny bit down on the day, but I spent like a quarter of a million dollars, so I think that's fine. And then obviously, I could actually pay them with the HR documents, but 30K is not, not the make or break money right now. Okay, we finished off the cold drink thing. Not what I wanted. I want to expand the casino, but we may as well add some more cold drinks so cold drink vending machine i need to unlock these now what is what is that document again that is oh accounting oh i got a million of those unlock that and unlock that and let's add in cold tea and then what else do we have an energy drink can we add that all right so we got soda bottled water cold tea energy drink you know what just unlock the thing and then put in fruit juice. I know you guys don't have any of that, but I got an achievement for it, so it's cool. All right, so cold tea, let's go, I don't know, maybe like 50, 40, 30, I don't know. I've got a good amount of cold storage right now, so I think we're gonna be fine if we just get a whole bunch of these things. Put 30 in each, and then, you know, basically stock it later is what I'm asking you to do. It's a fairly simple procedure. But more importantly, we got the new level of, well, everything. We've got new basement and new up above level. Great. I can put the marketing office up here. Oh, I really wanted the sauna up there. You can do both, Dave. You could have both up there. Okay. What have I got? $1.4 million? I'm going to build an entire floor. And I'm going to do that twice because I want maximum space around here. All right, all of that in there. And then obviously there's no stairs yet, so no one can go anywhere at all. You can have stairs to there. And then up here, let's just get some basic stairs in. Yep, right through that guy's bed. Perfect. And early in the morning, I'm already back up to 100 research documents. So back to sauna. Let's get the important things down here. Naked people sitting in steam. That's what I want this casino to be known for. Well, largely the nudity. I mean, that started on day one. There's been rampant nudity around here. In fact, how is our nudity these days? Illegal activities. How many people are taking their clothes off and, and running around here? Four on public intoxication, seven on indecent exposure. I have a feeling those two are connected. And let's remember to get a search going for marketing people, receptionist, HR, which one of you is marketing, office worker. Now that's, I actually should put up another one of the generic office worker things. That's accountant, vendor, massage, yes, chef, where, where, where is the, where, where is the other guy? Oh, the big bullhorn. Okay, so marketing people, please. Marketing people. How's my construction team doing here? We're, we're taking it a little slow. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little slow. I did give them 
quite a lot to do. I've still got $1.3 million in the bank. I'd like to be super clear about how much money this casino has right now. $1.3 million and I just built two completely new floors. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. That's why we go to court because the truth must come out. We won our lawsuit again. We have been vindicated again. Every lawsuit we have beaten down in court, largely by paying our lawyers an exorbitant amount of money, almost $150,000. But it was worth it because the truth, the truth is worth it. How many bartenders do I have? Because I'm seeing, yeah, I only got two bartenders. People are waiting ages to get a drink around here because my man's on break. Okay, so Danny, you take your break in morning two and you're night three. All right, well, first things first, I got to get a, ca a campaign going for more bartenders. So bartender, bartender, there we go. One bartender candidate. I don't suppose I actually had any, do I? No, I've got a barista, but not a bartender. Well, you know what? Same problem is probably happening there. So how many baristas do I have? I only got two. Okay, well, let's get that other barista on board. That'll at least fill in some blanks. So Hugh is on board. Let's sign a contract with him. I'm going to put you on the day shift. I just checked. My other barista is on morning two for a break. So I'm going to put you at morning one for your break. And that way you can, you guys can kind of cover each other as you're going along there. Archive keeps flashing at me. What is your problem? Yeah, I just, I don't see me giving up documents for somewhat low rent money. I know that's shocking. When I was starting this game, I would have been desperate for $36,000, but now I'm not. Now I have 1.3 million and I just, I just blew out two completely new floors. The documents are way more important than the money. All right, they are nominally done upstairs. So let's get a divider wall up in there and then we will make that into the new marketing office. Yeah, marketing documents are not so good. 410 on accounting though. Jeez, I might I might wanna spend some of those just to get them out of the archive room. My, my capacity is actually not that good. 680 out of 835. Uh, could somebody just fly in and get that wall done? I'd love to get this office up and running. There we go. Thank you so much. So one, marketing office, please. I'm really disappointed I couldn't put you guys in the basement. All right, obviously you need all the things. I'm sure it's probably largely the same things. Yeah, work desk and a file shelf. You don't need a whiteboard. Well, let's get two of you in here. You can have a desk over here and you could have a desk, say, over there. Now, that's definitely going to need intranets. And then what else do you want? A file shelf. Okay. One file shelf to go right here. That does increase my capacity a little bit on documents. So no bad thing there. Okay. Let me get everything wired up and put some lights in. And then we'll see what we can do with their prestige there. Okay. Operation pretty the place up. Obviously that starts with wallpaper. Yeah, we lost a little money. But again, I, I spent a ridiculous amount of money. 204 HR documents, I'm actually a little bit shy on that, so obviously pay the people. Let's begin, as we always do, with the wallpaper. What says marketing? Something bright and fun, I bet. I bet marketing's fun. I mean, they're not. They're kind of a pain in the neck. But something fun, like, oh yeah, that's fun. In the sense that it looks like a circus tent, it's fun. Okay, how about some windows? You guys love the old windows. So window and window and then curtains. Easy way to perk the place up a little bit curtain and curtain. Okay, that's got to be reasonably decent for decoration. Now, what specifically would you like to get your prestige up? You would like a hot drink vending machine and slightly more security. I hate it when they want security because that means I got to put a whole thing together. That being said, I got a pretty slamming spot over here. Show me my CCTV. Show me things. Okay, I wonder if I put a camera there, if that would just link to that. This one does. If this one does, something over here probably should. Yeah, perfect. Yep, just pops right in. Automatically connected to that receiver over there or transmitter. I don't really ever remember what those things are. And then the other thing you wanted was a hot drink vending machine. Well, darn it, that's going to require water, which is a mild pain in the neck to get up here, but I'll see what I can put together. Yeah, you can have it right next to the filing cabinet here. Okay, give me water first because that we know that's going to be the biggest pain. Oh yeah, we're going to need a bunch of bridges. Yet yeah, no no small feat here. I had to rewire virtually everything up here just to make the water work, but it's done. These guys have a hot drink vending machine and it is room prestige too, so there's a very 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 tiny chance that they might make one extra document. 
Worth every second, I say. Worth every second. And speaking of which, I think my campaign just came to an end. So maintenance marketing. All right. Modest and a turtle. Modest is what? Uh, you don't care about break room variety. Dude, I just put a hot drink vending machine in there. I know that's not the break room. I just put that in there for you. Okay, let's get you guys hired. I'm thinking two in the day, one at night. And you, Shepard, you're going to be on the night shift. All right, so that is two workers during the day, one at night, pumping out marketing documents. Now, what is my next step up here? I'm thinking sauna right here. Maybe this from here to here could be the sauna. And then I could clone these hotel rooms. Before you do that, all available dumpsters are full. I knew I shouldn't have gotten rid of that dumpster. That's okay. I can fix that. Easy to fix. I'm going to make this down here the new dumpster room. And then I'm going to move all of these things down here. And then obviously we will add a few extra dumpsters. Very, very... I can solve your problems basically... Oh, sure. Sure. Now the trash guys just walk right in. Okay. few extra dumpsters right there. I don't know what this is going to be yet, and I'm not really sure what this is going to be yet. Probably water and sewage would be my smartest plan there. In fact, now that I just say that out loud, it can't, it can't be both, right? No, a pump room, it can be both. It can have both. What if we change this out to a pump room? I'm just kind of thinking in advance of all the things I'm going to need, and then start, well, moving. Th Actually, no, not moving things cloning things i want more water's all set now i just gotta hook up sewage here somewhere not gonna go there okay how about down to here and then draw me some sewage pipes like that and like that and then over to actually I could just come down oh sewage you're always so fussy uh put you to there and then this to here I really haven't seen if I've actually got the room to do the electricity, but I'm sure I'll figure that out in two seconds and then I'll have to tear everything apart. Nope, we're in luck. Electricity is actually astoundingly easy this time. Just draw that line right there. Okay, that's all of that up and running. Now I'm low on power. <laughs> of course, why would I not be? Okay, get rid of all of these and we'll, we'll replace those with the slightly larger versions here. So clone that could i possibly get two of these in here i bet the answer is a hard oh hang on hang on there we go just tuck it in there okay that's an amount of electricity what why is that not why is that not an amount of electricity are we are we wired up here we're not completely wired up are we so you need to come into here and then i don't know go over there we're better now now we're better and in all the time that it took to do that we've got a sauna room Okay, so you needed, uh, show me again, please, show me again. You needed a sauna, uh, no, that's not security. I mean, it should be secure, but it's not. A sauna, just a sauna, just a sauna. I wonder who works there. Well, let's find out. So let's build a divider wall right here, right here? No, because I want space, yes, right here. Okay, yes, right here, but that's not gonna be the sauna. Ah, ha, 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 you see what I did there? Because what I do wanna do is make sure we still have the elevator going up here. I don't wanna bork that. So one of those, one of those, you can slow that down a little bit there, Sparky. I'm sure they built the walls. Uh, no, actually they haven't. And then wire you up just like that. Uh, I bet you the sauna is gonna need water. I'll bet you that thing's gonna need water, isn't it? I hate pulling water and sewage. Okay, sauna room. Show me what you got. Well, more importantly, show me what you need. Ah, uh, you need more things than I thought. Okay, you need way more things than I thought. I can do all those things, but not with what you're giving me right now. So the sauna might have to be a teeny tiny little bit bigger than I originally anticipated. So how about we take out like to there? All right, and then destroy that other wall, please. Oh God, what do you want? I'm trying to build a sauna. Have an available human resource office with a two prestige level. Do we not already have that? Human resources, really? Where, where's HR? That's the finance office. Uh, HR, room prestige one. Oh, I should be able to bang that out for you. Yeah, that should be no problem. Uh, just hold that thought because things are happening here and they're very, very important things to do with a sauna. So take out this wall, uh, keep the sauna room. I'm going to come back to that in a sec. What would it take for me to get, get HR up to better prestige? That can't be that hard. 
Security? Why is it always security? Oh, this should be an easy one though because there is a transmitter who's in what's the thing right there. So let me just clone this camera. We'll pop that right there. I'll wire you in in a sec. And then let's also drop in oh, yeah, the hot drink vending machine. And I'm going to have to bring water up here, aren't I? The problem with putting all the admin... Yeah, you're welcome, dude. Yeah, that's cool. Um, the problem with putting all the admin on this side of the building is it's made the utilities really complicated. I probably should have spaced this out a little bit better. Now, you you must also need... Oh, no, that's a completely different thing. Archive capacity is full. You're right, it is. In fact, we've got 886 out of 885. There must be one random document floating around on the floor there. Uh, yeah, I know. Capacity is full. Capacity is full. I'll, I'll learn to cope with that. So that must have already been within range of a wire. More importantly, are you in range of a thing? Yes. Yes, you are. Okay, so we are watching HR at all times, probably probably for the best. Okay, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap it up here because this is going on a little bit long here. Many, many things have happened. Many, many small things have happened, but many, many things have happened around here. Next time, we'll build the sauna. And then I'll probably, I have a feeling I'm just going to clone these three rooms right up here just for the sake of doing it. It'll be three more hotel rooms that we'll have kicking along. But guys, do please let me know what you're thinking of Casino Resort Tower in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And what is going on in Casino Jail? What Are you all waiting to get arrested? You're all getting processed. Oh, I'm out of room in Casino Jail. Well, there's something else that we'll figure out next time. You know, an argument could have been made that spending an obscene amount of money on researching the theater just so I can get a sign that says Electric Boogie Lou may not have been my smartest move. That is a strong argument, and that's an argument that you'd probably win, frankly. Wow, naked guy sticks his hand in a beehive. This, this can't end well. I don't know where I would see a leather carpet. But I'm going to imagine I have to pay an entry fee to see it. I have a cylinder. I broke Dave. I broke Dave. <laughs> Talk about yourselves, I'll be back. <laughs> uh, I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.